Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at Lunar Client and I'm going to do an FPS comparison video today and we're going to compare Lunar Client versus Optifine. Lunar Client does already come with Optifine included with it alongside its own performance-based improvements. However, we're going to see what kind of performance boosts we can get with Lunar Client and we're going to see what kind of FPS we can get with Optifine and we're going to compare the two and see if Lunar Client will give us any more FPS compared to the regular Optifine because Lunar Client already does have Optifine installed. If we take a look at Lunar Client, we can actually go into the Minecraft settings and if I click on video settings, we can see that this is the Optifine layout. We can actually see Optifine written at the bottom left here. So Lunar Client already comes with Optifine included. It also comes with its own mods that allow us to improve the FPS in our game. So it actually has its own performance boosting capability. So if we actually go into the Lunar settings, and if we have a look at the performance settings, we can see that there are a few different options here that will give us some better FPS. So I have gone ahead and enabled those options, and I'm gonna have a look today and see if those options are gonna be any better than the regular Optifine, and what kind of performance gains we can get with Lunar Client and its own performance boosting capabilities compared to the regular Optifine. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually launch the vanilla based game. I'm going to close this down. I'm now going to launch the regular Minecraft vanilla game and I'm going to see what kind of FPS I can get inside the game. And then we're going to open up Optifine, have a look at the FPS in Optifine, and then finally have a look at Lunar Client and see what kind of FPS we are getting in Lunar Client. So let me go ahead and do that now. Let me go ahead and launch the vanilla game. All right, so the game is now loaded up and let's maximize this window. Let's go to the options, click on video settings. So you guys can see that I have actually turned everything to the max here. I've turned the biome blend to the maximum. I've put the render distance to 32 because that is the maximum you can put on the vanilla game. So I'm gonna do the same obviously for Optifine and the settings in Lunar Client as well. I've gone ahead and turned all the other settings to the maximum as well. Whatever it allows me to do, I have actually gone ahead and changed that to the max. So let's go inside our game now and let's take a look at the fps that we are getting in the vanilla based game so as you guys can see i am touching close to a 60 fps in my game there so let's go ahead and say that in the vanilla game with all of the settings turned up i am getting 60 fps in my game so let's go ahead now and actually open up optifine so i'm going to exit out of this i'm going to quit out of this game and i'm going to load up Optifine and see what kind of FPS we can get with Optifine. All right, so the game has opened up with Optifine loaded. So let me maximize this window. As you guys can see in the bottom left here, just say Minecraft 1.18.1 modded. If I go into options, click on video settings, it does tell me the Optifine version number as well at the bottom here. So this is Optifine HD H4 Ultra. And we can tell that Optifine is also working because we do have this shaders button here as well. And it's remembered my settings from the regular Minecraft game where I've set my I render distance to 32 and the simulation distance to 32 as well. If I go into the performance settings here, I have actually gone ahead and turned on the fast render, fast math, lazy chunk loading and the smart animations as well. I've also gone ahead and turned on the render regions option there. Now, as you guys can see, when I hover over this, the tooltip does say that this is not recommended for integrated graphics cards. So if you guys are running a integrated graphics card, then I would not recommend that you turn this option on. But for the purpose of this benchmark FPS comparison video of Optifine versus Lunar Client, we are going to leave this option turned on. So let's now go inside our game and see what kind of FPS we can get with the regular Optifine. All right, so as you can see, I am actually touching close to 270 FPS there. So let's go ahead and say that we are getting on average 270 FPS with everything turned to the max in Optifine. And this is the regular Optifine. So if I was to go ahead and install Optifine on my system, this is what I would get in my game with everything turned to the max there. Let me now go ahead and enable some shaders and see what kind of FPS I can get with shaders enabled. All right, so I have gone ahead and turned on the complementary shaders. This is version 4.3.3. And let's now take a look at the kind of FPS I can get with the complementary shaders in our game. So as you guys can see, it is touching close to 123 FPS there with the complementary shaders enabled on Optifine. One thing to note with Optifine as well, if you guys are getting more than 60 FPS, if you go into the performance section, you can actually turn on the smooth world option there and smooth FPS. 
and that should smoothen out your FPS even more and stop it from actually having the fluctuations in your FPS. So if you guys are noticing a lot of fluctuation in your FPS, I would recommend that you turn on the smooth FPS and smooth world, but do that if you are getting more than 60 FPS and you are noticing a lot of fluctuation. But for the purpose of this test, we are going to leave those two options turned off. So as you guys can see, we are touching close to 123 FPS with shaders in Optifine. So let's now go ahead and actually close this down. And now we can actually go ahead and load up the Luna client and we can launch version 1.18.1 and see what kind of FPS we can get with Luna client in our game on Minecraft Java edition version 1.18.1. All right, so we can see the game is now opened up with a Lunar Client, and let's maximize this window. We can see that this is the main menu for a Lunar Client. We can go into our Minecraft settings, click on video settings, so we can actually see that Optifine is running. Obviously, we have the Optifine written here at the bottom left. Again, we have gone with the 32 render distance there and the 32 simulation distance there as well. If I go to performance, we can see that those options, which I did select with Optifine, have also been enabled with the Lunar Client options there as well. And obviously we have turned the entity distance to 500% and the biome blend is 15 by 15 maximum there. Let's go back to the main menu and if we go into the lunar settings and take a look at the performance, we can see that these options have also been amended. So now hopefully we should be able to get some better performance in our game. So let me go into single player and load up that world and see what kind of FPS we can get with lunar client for version 1.18.1. All right, so we are now in the game, and as you guys can see, it is out crossing close to 400 FPS there. And these are the maximum settings, which I was using with Optifine, and I was getting a much lower FPS there with the regular Optifine. So we can see that the performance boosts that Lunar Client does include is working quite well and on top of the regular optifine we are able to get much better fps with using a lunar client let's go ahead and test out the shaders now i'm going to go ahead and enable the same complementary shaders version 4.3.3 all right so the shaders have now loaded up and as you can see it is now actually touching close to 136 fps there the fps is actually staying quite steady there on 136 it's not fluctuating that much so it's quite interesting to see that we are able to get slightly more FPS than the regular Optifine was able to give us in our Minecraft game version 1.18.1. So even with the shaders enabled, we are able to get slightly more FPS with the Luna client. If you guys have been using Optifine and you're finding that you're still not getting higher FPS than you would normally, I would recommend that you guys try out the Luna client and give Luna client a go. And hopefully that should try and boost your FPS and your game performance even more. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this Luna Client versus Optifine comparison video to see what kind of FPS comparison we can get with our performance. And hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you like the video, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about Luna Client or Optifine, or game performance in general, do leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to try and help you guys out. And also, please do subscribe to the channel to help support it, help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.